Okay, so uh, here is the video on how you can use Eleven Labs with the Pavia Connect. One of the issue with the Eleven Labs is that they don't provide a audio file URL to your TTS request. But uh, you know, under uh, to find a solution to make this work. So I did uh, create a one particular script to do this. But if I have to provide a script to you, you would have to get into technical. You would have to replace a couple of the codes in the script, and you would have to host it on the server. So it's a bit of a complex process, right? So instead of uh, doing this, I thought why not to build my own API where you can just simply use your own API with the level labs and uh, make a request using this particular script, which is hosted on my server, right? So uh, here is the uh, API endpoint that I created. <coughs> You can use this with the Pavi Connect now, and it is available for now. Right now, it is private action, but by the time you are watching this, it will be available for uh, public. So you can obviously go ahead and use this. You would have to search for the Crotens. You would have a trigger here. So this is obvious. You would have a trigger. It can be from a webhook. You it can be from a Google Sheet. It can be any uh, triggers that it is supported at this moment and for actions you would have to search for growth in api right you would search for it and select the action called level labs api and this should allow us to make a request to the to the level labs api with the text that we would want to convert it to the voice right and uh, this is the level labs api key which we can get from um, by clicking on this particular uh, profile icon and you would have to click on profile this is where you would get the API key and please don't bother about copying this API key because i would just hit on regenerate so it's not worth spending time on copying this API key and uh, why said you probably wonder where you would get the, this particular voice id right so you would want to use this action called uh, get voice id so i will show you that as well so you would have a better understanding of how you can uh, we utilize this particular action you would want to go with the page this is an action called uh page voice ids you don't really need to have this particular step please do make note of this once you get the voice id just remove this so you don't really need this and you really don't need to spend another task here right and you would have to enter api key here which you can get from profile and the way by enter this i would get the voice id list of voice ids including your cloned voices if you have uh, custom voices you can also get those id in my case i would just uh, select uh, or copy one particular voice id it can be any i voice id so you just have to go through the uh, output and get the voice id and copy this once you copy this and remove this this is not really needed so you just need the voice id so you don't really need to have this particular step so I'll remove this and now coming to the uh, uh request where we can make a tts request to the 11 amps and you would have a voice id which is copied from the previous step and this is the text you would, you would want to convert it to the voice right uh in my case i'm using the uh, uh playground to generate a simple short story so you'd have you know a different kind of test that you would want to generate uh it's up to you on how you would want to generate this and and what kind of uh, content you would want to use this and please do keep in mind uh please do keep in mind that uh level labs has a limitation on characters not two words you would have to keep this and keep this in mind and uh once you i know you 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 know if you need a more of the uh characters you would have to subscribe to a better uh subscription uh, and if you have a subscription you just have to you know uh have the content waste uh, content here you just have to map the content and uh make a request to this you would get this particular request id which you can fetch later because right now uh I have created an API where we can have an efficient job using the API, right? We don't really need to you know or wait for uh, two, three minutes to get the response from the API. So I created an API where we can we can you know process in the background where you would get the request ID like this, and we store the response in the database. 
and that you can fetch it later right uh, which is you know automatically removed within the 24 hours so you would have to make sure of uh, uh, get the, you know fetching the result within the 24 hours and please do make sure that you add a uh, one hour delay here so you because there is a process in the background so you need to have a one hour delay here at least one hour delay you can have a less but uh, i would recommend having at least one hour delay uh, once you get the request id like this you would use this particular uh, id to fetch your database to get the result right you would uh, map the request id here with the action called get the tts request with the 11 maps and you would enter the request id here uh, sorry uh, map the request id here once you do that you would uh, make a request you would get uh, something like this where you would have a file url or mp3 url which you can you can uh, test this john woke up early one morning and uh, you can also use this to you know uh, to 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 you know send it to somewhere else or you can send it to the customer you can send it to prospect you can send it to uh, you know anywhere you would like and this is how it it works and uh, right now i would assume you know if by the time you are using, uh, watching this you this probably will be public so you just have to uh, go ahead and search for this particular action and uh, and go ahead and use it and please uh, do share the feedback and if you like this it would be amazing if you share with the people thank you